This is Twit. I want to set up, um, I, I want to clone my hard drive um, from my MacBook Pro onto my Mac Pro, the, the, the older one, um, just because I have everything set the way I yeah. like it. All the programs work together. Everything's good. Yeah. The operating system's like working. But I am worried about, like, I don't know if I were to clone that drive and put it onto the Mac Pro, which I'd eventually put a solid state drive on as well. Like, is it? Are there going to be hardware issues? Like, there is, might be. You know, you know, the way to do this is clone it on a USB drive. Okay. And then, which is good anyway, because you're going to now you have a nice backup of the of the laptop. Then right. plug the USB drive into the the tower case, reboot the case, hold down. You know this. Hold down the option key. It'll give you. It'll see. Oh, you have a bootable drive outside and a bootable drive inside. Which one do you want to boot? Boot to the external drive. See how it works. The problem okay. is that drivers will be different, right? The operating system is, has, I, I know you don't see it on Macintosh, you see it on Windows, but on Macintosh they hide it, but it still has drivers. And the drivers, the hardware on the laptop is different from the hardware on the desktop. Right, right, yeah, that's my word. But OS X may be smart enough to say, as Windows will, oh, I see um, you have a different sound card. Oh, I see you have a different motherboard. Oh, I and, 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 and download or install the right driver. Worst case... What I would do is do this and then run the OS installer for the version of the operating system you want to use. If it's Yosemite, you can download that. And, and in other words, replace the, the operating system on that disk. Mm -hmm. And that will give you the operating system with all the appropriate drivers. The applications will still be there on, and should run unmodified. I don't know if you've ever done this. But uh, this is one of the things OS X does really well. Apple's just really done this nicely. You can take, and I've done this with my Mac Pro because it was acting finicky. You can reinstall the operating system kind of on top. It, it moves some files to a, a different folder that says, you know, old operating system. But in most cases, everything runs just as it did. You've just replaced the operating yeah. system. So uh, the answer is you, you can do this, uh, but you may have to do some finagling, like reinstalling the operating system once you've cloned the drive. Yeah. Well, I would have honestly, like, I would have, I would have, you know, just upgraded the the Mac Pro to Mountain Lion. But I think you still have to purchase Mountain Lion. Yeah. Um, so um, that might be. It's not expensive. It's like twenty bucks, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's free after that. That's the nice thing. Apple no longer charges for operating system upgrades. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you certainly could do it. Then people are saying you could also use the migration assistant or Time Machine and back up your data on Time Machine. Time Machine doesn't back up applications, but it does app back up data. But you want to move applications over too, right? I want it, yeah, because everything's working perfectly, yeah. and I've had problems in the past. Like, yeah. I, I, I think you could tools. do this, just but the way to do it is try it with an external drive first. Okay, and does that external drive have to be dedicated to... Well, um, you're just doing it. Disk image. You're just doing it now. No, no, you could put a disk image on it. You're just doing it now to test, mm -hmm. and then if nothing, if it doesn't work or weird things go wrong, you can just reboot, and now you're going to boot from the internal drive. This is just a test. If it works mostly okay, you could install, uh, reinstall the existing operating system. It could, doesn't have to be uh, Lion. It could be uh, whatever you're using, and reinstall it on top of the external disk, and then you can clone that oh, external disk. I see. Disk. I see. see okay. what I'm saying? It's more for test purposes. Yeah, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. See if that works. Nice talking to you. Thank you. I appreciate the call.